So, oh gosh. Hey guys, it's Summer here, and today I will be showing you, I will make you a video about what you should bring to the beach. So I'm in the Flash. The beach is trash. <laughs> Sorry for that, but what you should bring. I'm sorry, he's really annoying, but <laughs> anyway, so I'll be doing a video about what we should bring to the beach. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So, <clears throat> okay. so the first thing I think you should bring to the beach is obviously, let me get it, a water bottle. Water bottles are obviously, you need to stay hydrated and healthy. So, I didn't even drink any water. So yeah, there's that. Then, obviously you need your phone, and let me just get that. <clears throat> you need your phone because you need to do anything in case of an emergency, so yeah. Then you need, obviously, a pack of crayon and a coloring book because you, I have my coloring book, but they're under my squishies, so I don't want to do that right now, but you need a pack of crayons and a coloring book so you can just stay occupied. I got mine from Publix. You could say like literally a four pack. You don't need a 26 pack of crayons because it's useless. Like look at these amazing Publix crayons. Like not coming out, okay. Beautiful colors. Look amazing. Okay, so. Okay, <laughs> I love throwing things. So next thing that you should bring to the beach is some yogurt. Now I'm being saying yogurt imprecise because whenever I bring yogurt to the beach, I kind of have like more of a hygienic boost for some reason. It's kind of weird, but like, it kind of makes me more energetic. And also a good thing to do is bring yogurt and maybe some Nature Valley bars. You could crush the Nature Valley bars and put the Nature Valley like little crunchies inside your yogurt for more of a healthy thing. I really don't like regular Nature Valley bars, so when I put them in my yogurt, it gives me more of an encouragement to eat it, because then it's really delicious. Like, so good. Okay. So, the next thing you should bring, this is depending on something, you should bring a hairbrush. The reason why I'm saying this is because, you know when you have like the showers by the beach? Maybe like in the ocean, I know that all the, all the, all of my experience in, in the beaches so far had all seaweed. I'm going to the beach today, so I'm gonna bring all my stuff, but all the beaches I've went to so far while I'm in Florida have had seaweeds, seaweed in it, like a lot of it. So if you have long hair or even short hair, I would bring a brush. So when you're at the showers, you could just brush it out. You know if a piece of seaweed will come out of your hair, like you don't know what, what will come out of it like hairpins, anything. So you could just not have it in your hair stuck in there. I mean, you could just take a shower after it, but I feel like this is more, that's more time consuming if you just want to leave and go. So, yeah. The next thing I think you should bring is obviously, well, it depends on if you're going on a sunny day. I know that mostly everybody brings to the beach. You're probably gonna be like, um, Summer, that's so basic, but an umbrella. Now, I say this because I don't burn easily, so, you know, it's not really, I could, but I just hate being in the sun. So if it's a very hot day and you choose to go to the beach and sometimes you can instantly regret it. Whoa, 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 sorry, sorry. So, sorry for all the, the noise. But you can like instantly regret it if you don't just have a little bit of a sunblocker. I'm sorry, let me go close my door, but that's why you should totally bring an umbrella just to block out the sun just in case, you know, you've been in there for too long. It happens to be that yesterday, my mom was in the sun for too long and she just got like nauseous and stuff. So, yeah. So let me just focus the camera a little bit. Okay. So, the next thing you should bring, again, if you have like dirty waters that aren't the best, like again, like a few days ago I went to the beach and the water was like brown, so I'm not going to that place anymore. But the water was brown and had like a lot of seaweed. So whenever I would walk into the ocean, like there was a part of, with a lot of seaweed. So I'd have to walk through that, my legs were dirty, but then I would be able to go in the water and it would wash it off. But when I was leaving the ocean, 
the the seaweed it would just get all of my legs my legs would be like all seaweed infested basically so you should bring a little plastic spray bottle so you could just have some water and just spray that on your legs you could just get it off if you don't want to go keep going to the showers every time you get out of the ocean and for me you guys are probably saying why aren't you bringing any squishies well because i don't like bringing squishies to the beach but i'm gonna give you guys a quick little sneak peek on the squishies that I had I bought in Florida. There's some at my house that I have. I want to show you guys in the video. But here it is. Here's a little sneak peek. So I'm not giving you guys too much of a big sneak peek. But here's a little tip. Go to Walmart. This is not sponsored by Walmart or anything. But go to Walmart to get, to get the supplies for the beach. Oh yeah, sunscreen you need. You need a lot of stuff for a beach. I'm just giving you the basic tips. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe, and turn on the bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. But before I do this, before I um, end this video, I just want to say, please try and comment on my videos because I need to know. I'm trying to do a Q&A. And I, whenever I try and do a Q&A, nobody comments questions. So just please try and comment questions. Bye.